the ultimate binge watch. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shows you can watch in one day. Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Brule with Wouldn't That Be Cool? In 1971, Bill Gates invented Microsoft. Wouldn't it be cool if I could remember my dingus password for my email? For this list, we're taking a look at TV shows short enough or perfectly suited to be binge watched in a single day. And these few sergeants convinced all of the other NCOs in your company to turn in their stripes? As staff sergeants, they have a great amount of influence, sir. But as I say, the rest are good men. I know them. I, I can work with them. Number 10. I think you should leave with Tim Robinson. Okay, uh, what do we think it should look like? Sleek. Good. High tech. Uh, Aerodynamic. Too small. I'm sorry? Too small. With no connecting storylines and most segments lasting around five minutes, sketch shows are designed for a relaxing afternoon TV marathon. Netflix's I Think You Should Leave with Tim Robinson takes the former SNL alumni's brand of abrasive comedy and removes the restraints. You called me a dum-dum and she called me an idiot, so. Yeah, when you post a pic of yourself where you look really cute, then you have to say something a little self-deprecating so it doesn't look like you're just bragging. The segments chiefly take relatively familiar situations, like attending a focus group or traveling on an airplane, and throws in a dose of the absurd. More often than not, there's one outlandish character who ends up dragging everyone down with them, and the routine never ceases to be funny. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you mockingbird. Number 9, 11-22-63. I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna seem crazy. I need you to go in this closet, take a look around, then I'll tell you everything. An adaptation of a Stephen King novel, 112263 is a miniseries with eight episodes and an enticing central premise. That was 1960. I need you to go back there to prevent the assassination of John F. Kennedy. So a time portal to 1960 is found and Jake Epping, an unspectacular English teacher, travels back in time to try and prevent the assassination of JFK. Along with being a race against time, 112263 is also quite an engaging character study, as Jake becomes increasingly more invested in his life in the 1960s. You see, the past doesn't want to be changed. When you're close to changing something, you feel it pushed back. 112263 has all the trademarks of a classic Stephen King story, a sense of mystery, excellent pacing, and main. Number 8, Band of Brothers. You guys hit! A dramatization of Easy Company's experiences during World War II, beginning with the group's training at Camp Tokoa and going through several important battles leading to the conclusion of the Pacific War, Band of Brothers is a war drama with few equals. Although the series does not shy away from depicting the worst aspects of war, the focus is more on the brotherhood that develops between the members of the Easy Company. While some creative liberties were taken with the historical events, Band of Brothers works brilliantly as a tribute to the soldiers who fought during the war and a beginner's course to the European theater. Five o'clock in New York. Four o'clock in Chicago. Happy hour, huh? <laughs> yeah. Number seven. Tim and Eric, awesome show, great job. Well, hello, welcome to our show. My name is Tim Heidecker. Hey, I'm Eric Wareheim. So good to be here. <laughs> How was your weekend this, this weekend, Eric? Not so good, Tim. I get it. Ready for a dose of insanity? Often venturing into anti-humor territory, Tim and Eric Awesome Show Great Job is not for everyone and requires some familiarity with public access television to be completely appreciated. Hello, robbers. My name is Terry Green. And not too long ago, I was in the same position as you are now, about to become a proud gravy robber. However, the sketch comedy series is a trailblazer when it comes to discovering new and exciting ways to make everyone feel incredibly awkward. Featuring a ton of celebrity guest stars, Tim and Eric Awesome Show Great Job lasted for five seasons, but the sketch nature of the series makes it an ideal candidate for a single day binge watch. Computer load up, celery man, please. Yes, Paul. <laughs> Number 
Number six, American Vandal. Dylan, why am I interviewing you? Because everyone thinks I did it. Did what? The dicks. Hanover High School is the location of an unprecedented criminal spree that saw the defilement of more than two dozen staff cars, leading to the expulsion of a known student troublemaker named Dylan Maxwell. Although the facility was quick to blame Dylan, Peter Maldonado, a sophomore and fledgling investigator, believes there's more to this story than meets the eye. You're supposed to be getting me off. No homo. No offense, Dylan, but I'm not trying to get you off here. I'm just trying to find the truth. The truth is, I was at Lucas's house. American Vandal chronicles the aftermath of this criminal event, unveiling that everyone in Hanover High School has something to hide. A true crime mockumentary, American Vandal manages to be just as gripping as many of the real deals. Tromboli walks the halls like a hero. But what if we can't trust him? What if he's not as reliable as a school board would have you to believe? Number five, the OA. I'm Alice, honey. I'm a nurse at St. Louis Hospital. What's your name? I'm the OA. The master of the binge watch, Netflix seems designed to keep users glued to the couch for 12 hours straight. Compared to other projects, the OA is certainly ambitious. Although the mystery series' blend of spirituality, lucidity, and science fiction are equally as likely to frustrate as enthrall. I felt like I wanted to get off that bus. To avoid giving too much away, after disappearing seven years prior, a blind woman named Prairie resurfaces with renewed eyesight and a strange story to tell, with four students and a teacher serving as her audience. From there, the OA flip-flops between the present and the far more fascinating past, as Prairie's tale gets increasingly more fantastical. You know what she calls you? She calls you the angel hunter! Number four, when they see us. I just came to look after Yusuf. Yusuf is not here. You are alone with this in here. When done well, true crime miniseries can be near impossible to put down. When They See Us centers around 1989 Central Park assault case that led to the wrongful conviction of five teenagers, with the youngest being 14 and the oldest 16. The miniseries dramatizes the Central Park Five's lives before the case, the infuriating trial, the group's time in prison, and their eventual release in 2002. I know, Ray, I know, but, but those people stole from you, you can't buy back. You can't buy back, not with money, not with hustling, not with none of that shit. When They See Us is a harrowing and all-too-real series that frames a tragic injustice in a larger social and racial context that makes its themes just as relevant today as they were in 1989. I'm walking through this with you. You cry, I cry. You mad, I'm mad. You scared, I'm scared. You free, I'm free. Number three, Fleabag. So business is good then? Yeah, it's good, it's really good. It's really, really good. Yeah, it's really good. Sounds like it's really good. It is. Soaked in that quintessential British black humor, Fleabag is a hilarious and frequently touching story about a woman dealing with a personal tragedy through emotionless one-night stands. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who also wrote the show, stars as the visceral and chaotic Fleabag and the actress is nothing short of a sensation. I am not drunk. Always drunk. I am not drunk! Oh, which is odd, because Claire's so straight. Fleabag gets progressively more daring, often at the expense of the fourth wall, but the central themes of trauma and grief are explored thoroughly over the comedy series' 12 episodes, as the protagonist attempts to reach some form of self-forgiveness. I just think I want someone to tell me how to live my life, Father, because so far I think I've been getting it wrong. Number two, Chernobyl. What just happened? I don't know. Want to feel angry for around five hours? Then Chernobyl is the perfect miniseries for you. HBO's series dramatizes 1986's Chernobyl nuclear disaster, focusing on the incident itself, its aftermath, and the handling of the situation by those in charge. I want you to tell me everything that happened on the night of the accident. 
Chernobyl explores the political and social climate that facilitated the spread of misinformation at the cost of human life, while also dedicating time to the people on the ground floor that were directly impacted by the nuclear meltdown. At just five episodes, Chernobyl is a quick, albeit far from easy, sit. What are you doing? We have to shut all the way down. No. We could be in a xenon pit. We have to shut down by 24 hours. No, we're doing the test tonight. Raise power to 700. We can't raise the power from here. The rules. Don't talk to me about rules. If we fall from 80%. No, no, we fell from 50% of power. The rules don't say 50. There is no rule. Comrade Diadlov, I apologize, but what you're saying makes no sense. Raise the power. No. Before we unveil our most bingeable number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. The last six months of my life have been an onslaught of personal failure and uh, other people's misery. Can I find a way? Sorry. Every word that came out of my mouth was as if it was burnt into the paper they were writing it on. He presently came to me and said, open the trap door and I'll throw her down in the cellar. And once I said a thing, I knew I could never get the words back. I'm just telling you this because we have to be prepared. <sighs> Look, we have to stick together. That's the only way we've gotten this far. If we stick together, we'll be fine. <laughs> That's it then. Your age. Women fight better than men. This one does. <laughs> Yeah. That's my girl. 17 straight wins to prove it. You'll be handsomely paid. I always wanted to know what it'd be like to fight a girl. I'm a girl. Want to see what it'd be like to fight me? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Firefly. Are you always this sentimental? Had a good day. The fact it is mathematically possible to completely watch Firefly and its subsequent movie Serenity in a single day is maddening. Following the crew of the Serenity spaceship, Joss Whedon's space western has action, comedy, suspense, and a cast that oozes charisma. We're not thieves, but we are thieves. The point is, we're not taking what's his. The episodes are mostly self-contained adventures, although there is a wider narrative that connects the chapters. Despite lasting just 14 episodes, the characters feel fully realized, with many even going through some noticeable growth. With the movie, Firefly takes around 12 hours to complete, even if the show does not feel that long. The way it is is the way it is. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.